This is Simply Lore, a FNAF TikToker whose whole TikTok page consists of only stolen content from bigger FNAF YouTubers, with me included. In this video, I'll be going in depth on who he is, my personal experience with him, and so much more. So before I start, please make sure to not send Simply Lore any hate. Later on in this video, I'll go in depth on how we can make an attempt to stop him from stealing, but sending hate won't do that at all. Without further ado, make sure to subscribe if you love Five Nights at Freddy's. Now let's get into the video. So I'd like to begin by saying that I usually don't like making videos on topics like this unless I feel like it is absolutely necessary to. And I have made two other videos on topics very similar to this talking about other YouTubers of the sorts. But I feel the need to bring awareness to this situation as me and a couple other of my friends have fallen victim to this stolen content epidemic. Plus this is also just insanely scummy and I want to help lessen the blow by crediting some of the YouTubers who have had their content stolen by Simply Lore as well in this video. Anyways let's start back at the beginning. Simply Lore has always been a FNAF TikToker if you'd even like to call them that. Ever since their first post, they have reposted others' content, with their first video series being a repost of the Game Theory FNAF Final Timeline videos, where Simply Lore managed to turn that video series, or whatever you want to call it, into a whopping 34 separate videos. Oh boy, we're off to a good start here, but wait a second. Oh, he put Game Theory in all the videos' titles. So I guess he actually did kind of give credit to the creator. But as time passed and as more videos began to get posted, Simply Lore branched out to steal more and more content, and the courtesy to give credit to the creators must have gotten thrown out the window because immediately after these game theory videos he would repost three TikToks regarding Markiplier where he would too give credit to Markiplier for the gameplay footage. But then after this no more credit was given to the creators. After these 37 total videos where credit was given, Simply Lore began stealing content from creators such as Aya, Top 10 Gaming, my good friend Johnny the Night Guard, and many more which I unfortunately do not know so I can't give credit to. So if you see any creators that you know on their account or if you just want to do your own research and start crediting the creators in the comment section of the account's videos, that would be awesome. So make sure to please comment their usernames down below on this video as well so I can credit them in this video's description as well. But anyways, you guys get the point. From the very beginning, Simply Lore was never about originality. Simply, <laughs> get it? Simply? Like, you know, Simply Lore? Yeah, okay, whatever. Anyways, they would just simply find a video from YouTube, download it, and repost it here, which isn't an inherently bad thing. A lot of creators like getting their content reposted, but they also like getting credit for said content as well, so people could go to their channels and check out their other work. But it's a bad thing because they aren't really crediting the creators or asking for permission beforehand to use said clips. And I know that for a fact. But due to this content style, Simply can remain completely anonymous because they don't need to include their face, voice, or anything that can get traced back to their real life identity, so they don't have any consequences. So that brings me to ask the question of who he or she is. Now as I tried to do research for this video, I realized that no one made any sort of video or anything regarding the TikTok page, so I decided to do some deep digging and when I mean deep digging, just a Google search. I'm too lazy to do anything else, so I just did a Google search, but you get the point. And unfortunately, I found nothing that could help me in my search. But Simply Lore's identity isn't something I want people to search for, and it wasn't anything I was trying to find when I did my research. I was just trying to find any other related accounts or social media platforms or pages or anything like that. And I found nothing, unfortunately. But I'm not surprised, and this is why. TikTok has a very big issue when it comes to stolen slash reposted content. A majority of content you'll see on TikTok is not original and was just taken from another platform. The reason why is because TikTok doesn't have a content ID system like YouTube has, which means that it doesn't ID the videos at all. Which means you can repost the same video multiple times and face no consequences. And if you did that on YouTube, the video would be either immediately taken down or shadow banned. And trust me, I know that for a fact because I have reposted a video of mine before and it just completely flopped and didn't get pushed in the algorithm. And there's a reason for that. And obviously it's to, you know, prevent reposted or stolen content. But on TikTok, again, from personal experience, you can repost the same video over and over again and face no consequences. On one of my old TikTok accounts, I used to repost videos sometimes when I, I was either sick or was just too lazy and they would do amazing. Sometimes even better than the original post. Which on YouTube, as I said, wouldn't fly. And maybe on Instagram or maybe some other platform, honestly, I don't know really the other platforms too well, but I do know YouTube and I will assure you that it would not fly on here. I also found a Reddit post talking about the same issue and many other creators commented their thoughts and expressed their dismay against TikTok for this reason. So this isn't just an issue in the FNAF community. It's a widespread issue and there's not really anything you can do about it unless if you contact TikTok. So you can support a file or a copyright claim on the videos, which is a very tedious process that you wouldn't want to bother with, especially if you've had multiple videos stolen from you like how I have. This is why Simply Lore can get away with this because no one bothers to put in the time to file all these claims and since no credit is given, the original creators are less likely to know if their content is being stolen since the audience can't report to the original creator about the stolen videos. Many creators like Attic Partiers, Puckles Pizza 
Pizzeria, and so much more have gotten their videos stolen without even knowing, and there's little they can do about it. But a couple of months ago, I was scrolling on TikTok and I stumbled upon the page, and I looked at it and saw that a lot of my videos were reposted, like at least over 50, which is insane. So I decided to DM them saying this, Hello, you have been re-uploading my videos without my consent for a while now. I'm going to have to ask you to delete these videos or I'm going to file a copyright complaint against your account. Please remove all videos within the next day or I will file a complaint. Thanks. Now, could I have responded better or more appropriately? Yes, I probably could have. But did I want to get the point across? Yes, I did. So did everything get removed after I sent that DM? Nope, actually, I got blocked. And that was that. This was all the way back in December and after a day or two, I completely forgot about this until I stumbled upon this page again on my new TikTok account and I saw that there were still reposting my videos and many other creators who are also very very smaller than me and seeing this it just extremely frustrated me because the smaller creators deserve their work to be you know credited to them and shown off to a broader audience but you know with that credit included for me with 600,000 subscribers I don't need that credit as desperately anymore but for these creators that are very smaller that are also being included on this account yeah they do need their credit so they can grow and actually you know prosper from their videos and all the stuff they make on their accounts anyways that's my small little rant or side tangent whatever but but I don't even want to know how much revenue they're making from this because I know it's probably a decent amount but for how little work they have to do this is probably some of the easiest money they'll ever have to make in their entire life. TikTok pays around two to four cents per thousand views. At least that's what Google says. Whenever I used to do TikTok a couple years ago I think it was around the same amount so I don't know if things have changed or what but I do know that it doesn't pay that much. But since TikTok pays two to four cents per thousand views and with them having almost over 400 videos and almost five million likes we can assume that with the number of followers likes and videos Simply Lore has anywhere between 15 to 30 million total views, maybe even more. So that would mean that they would make anywhere around $450 to $1,000, which is actually, you know what, um, it's not a lot. But with all that money being taken from other creators' content, I would say it is a lot of stolen money then. Now, I'd like to say that with all this being said, there is a way to stop Simply Lore and other accounts similar to Simply Lore from stealing content, or there's at least ways to help discourage the use of it. So again, please do not send hate to them or leave hate comments or anything along the sorts of that, as that won't help the the creators that got their content stolen from. Simply Lore is just one out of the many repost pages on TikTok, and we cannot stop them due to there being no content ID system like YouTube has, but there is still a way you guys can fight back against this issue. And that's by simply unfollowing them if you are followed, or blocking the account, or by leaving informative comments providing the original creator's username and social media platform to give credit to them. There's also another thing you can do, and that's by leaving comments giving feedback on how to begin making original content, or to encourage them to switch up their content style to something that doesn't harm other creators creators. As long as it isn't hate, then it doesn't really matter, just provide the feedback. Another thing you can do that can help is by sharing this video or the short I made about this to help spread awareness to these creators and this ongoing issue. Because since there is no other YouTubers talking about this topic, nothing will be done to help change Simply Lore's content if you don't share it. Also, liking this video and subscribing will help push in the algorithm to spread even more awareness. So if you guys are willing to go provide positive feedback, along with comment on their videos providing the original creator's credit, along with doing everything else I just said, you will be helping out all these creators so much. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, you'll like this video about me talking about the worst FNAF content farm ever made. Or if you want something quick, you'll like this short I made about a Polish YouTuber who was stealing my videos a couple months ago as it will be just up your alley.